Hey guys, thanks for watching and welcome back. I uh, wanted to talk about F11 top coat and I'm, I get this question asked a lot especially on our Facebook page and our YouTube page and I want to kind of debunk some of the myths about this product. So first and foremost, uh, here's their Facebook page and they've taken down the reviews because originally they were so negative that they couldn't stay after it. There were so many negative reviews and so they just eliminated it. So now they don't have to deal with that. But it's well known, well known product, uh, exceptionally well marketed. Here's their, here's their uh, website and the cost is about $60 for 16 ounces of it, which is very, very expensive. There are many other products out there in the professional detailing world that don't even cost half that different sizes. Uh, they, I know at one point they sold a gallon jug of it and it was you know, $199 or something like that. It was quite expensive. So anyway, they, uh, they advertise it's no unsightly wax residue. Uh, it's safe on all surfaces. It won't scratch your car. Uh, it's hydrophobic. It's a water-based formula and I'll get, I'll get to more on that in just a minute. Um, Improves visibility, makes your drive safer for putting it on your windshield. I don't think you want to do that, and you'll see why here in a minute. Water-based instead of chemical-based. Simple application, makes it look fantastic. And so the reviews on their own page, it's a one-star review, but it says very easy to use, and I've had it, and it's holding up fine, great shine. Another one, one-star review. Outstanding product, I wash truck F11 and use California cleaner. Oh brother. So, uh, there's one, one review there that says not work like you show. And of course they didn't, uh, they didn't respond to that. Uh, so anyway, that's, uh, that's their website. And so I want to get into the MSDS. It's made by a company called Ducora and this is an MSDS from 2007. So now it's called a safety data sheet SDS that the, uh, it consists of two primary ingredients, polydimethylsilazane, which I will get to that in more in just a second, and alcohol, so one to 5% of each. So at the minimum, you're paying for 2% silazane and alcohol, and the rest is water. You are paying for water. Uh, at best, it's 10%, 5% of each. So looking at boiling points, volatility, uh, et cetera, and that's just more of the safety stuff here. So we get back to polydimethylsilazane. There is another word for that. Let's go look at polydimethylsilazane SDS. There's a couple different websites that we can look at here that'll have that. Uh, this one in particular, let's see. Nope, let's look at another one trying to get my point across here. So this one call a chemical name, silazanes and silicones. What does that tell you? You know what silicone is? It's hydrophobic. Here's another one. Name product name, silicone fluid 1000 chemical name, polydimethylsilazane. In this in instance, it's a hundred percent for whatever product this was, but it has that ma that material in it. Consi it consists of a hundred percent that that chemical. Another one, polydimethylsilazane, industrial use, personal care products. Let's see if they also call it that. No, oh, let's find one more. Dimethyl silazane, also known as methyl silicone. So what I'm getting at is this is silicone, silicone, alcohol, and water that you're putting on your car. It's hydrophobic because silicone is resistant and hydrophobic to water. That's why it looks like it's hydrophobic. And that's why it only lasts until the first wash. 
as you'll see in my test, again, the link in, in the description is below, that it didn't even last a, a few weeks. And if you're going to spend $60 on a product that you're going to have to apply every time you wash the car, you're going to spend quite a bit of money every year just to keep that on. So let's go over here to Amazon, see what kind of reviews they have. Uh, it's a scam, one one star review, uh, caveat emptor, buyer beware, one star. So there's, there's quite a few, and then the majority of them are positive. And there's two ways to think of this. You, they're either paid reviews or fake reviews, or you have people that don't know any better. You know, they, they believe the marketing. They think this thing is just amazing. Uh, so you can Google F11 top coat reviews and you can see there are several on there. There's Reddit threads about uh, issues. Is it good? No, it's just marketing. Any recommendations? Uh, you know, there's there's a lot out there. So what I wanted to explain here is what it's actually doing. And so you can see in like level 1B here, which is second to the left, that that's the imperfections in your clear coat. That's your scratches and your swirls that aren't very deep. So what it's doing is actually filling that in with silicone. And so that's why the first, it looks fantastic when you apply it. And then after that first wash, it goes back to looking not so great. Anyway, I uh, wanted to thank you guys again for watching and please like the video, smash the like button comment below and consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, it really helps us out uh, in as far as uh, supporting the channel and supporting our business. So thanks again and we will see you guys next time.